Hi there, welcome back to my channel Science Unlocked and here we are continuing with our session related with the topic of body movements coming from class 6th Science NCRT textbook. So let's get started. We have already discussed about different set of introductory portion of the chapter and different set of joints that we will observe in the human body. Now over here we will going to see about the bones that we have in our body. Now we are well aware about the fact that bone is the major part or you can say the main component of the skeletal system and as the skeletal system has to perform different set of functions in terms of protection, in terms of support, in terms of making the framework or supporting the movement of the body. This particular structure is made up of small small sections where these bones or these small sections are interrelated with each other and this is actually made up of a specific component called as calcium phosphate. Now this is a mineral which actually makes the whole structure or the bone more and more strong, more and more hard in terms of connection. Now over here we will going to observe that in case of this whole structure we will going to hear about a specific protein called collagen which actually helps in the formation of this structure and we have already discussed this thing in our certain previous sessions related with class fifth section that the human body is made up of an adult human body is made up of 206 bones and all the different set of bones have their specific kind of functions now the different set of shapes and functions are interrelated so over here we will going to talk about them that like if we talk about the rib cage here we will going to find out that the major function which it is performing is it is going to help in the process of breathing on the other hand it will going to help in the security or you can say saving the or uh, security of this particular structure that is the lungs and the heart altogether and it actually helps with reference to the uh, prevention from the mechanical rearing and uh, tearing of the organs that we have altogether this particular structure is going to have uh, a connection with the shoulder girdle as well or the pectoral girdle as well which collectively is helping in the whole process now over here if we talk about the number of bones in the rib cage we will going to find out that there are in total 25 number of bones because there will be 12 pairs of bones in case of the ribs that is the curved bones that we have whereas the central bone is the sternum that is the chest bone which will going to be the main part of the uh, main anchorage of the whole curved structures or bones which makes it up to the 25 number of bones in case of rib cage. Now similarly this particular structure is responsible uh, for the overall protection of some other structures as well for example the skull for the maintenance and protection of the brain uh, then uh, the vertebral column for the protection of the spinal cord so these are certain things that we will going to observe in terms of the functions of the bones now one such function that we have already discussed is with reference to movement so we have almost cover up all the different set of functions here now the next topic that we have in today's session is about the concept of cartilage now these are actually an important aspect with reference to bones because these structures these soft tissues are actually the tissues which will going to ultimately making the edges of the bones more soft and flexible and hence reducing the friction between the bones because of which the pain in case of bones and will going to be reduced and on the other hand the movement will become easier as compared to the condition if there will be no cartilage in the uh, in between the bones so we can say that this these structures that is cartilage play an important role in case of our body movement and structure the next topic that we have in our session is about the muscles now when we talk about muscles we have approximately 650 muscles in our body and these muscles are ultimately helping in the overall movement of the skeletal system and the movement shown by the body because these bones alone cannot perform all the functions of 
uh, movement and they need the support of muscles because they will going to ultimately contract and relax which will going to aid in the overall movement altogether so over here because we are talking about the body movements here we are focusing on the voluntary muscles which are going to work under our control where whenever we want to move any uh, any part of the body or we want to make any kind of movement in the body then we will going to control that whole thing with our mind so that is how the muscles play an important role with reference to the body movements now when we talk about the movements let's not forget about the specific kind of movement that we observe in case of different set of animals so in our upcoming session we will going to uh, cover up that part as well that uh, there are different set of organisms around us which are going to have their unique and specific kind of movements so that is something different from the human body movement like in terms of running jumping flying crawling and many more different set of movements that we will going to talk about so let's get into that the first organism that we are going to talk about is the earthworm which is actually a kind of structure which is a kind of organism which we will going to observe on the terrestrial region specifically inside the soil which feeds on dead and decaying organic matter on the other hand this is a kind of organism which do not have bone so it has to depend on different set of segments and muscle like structures which are specifically in case of earthworm considered as segments so these segments will going to ultimately help in the encourage process on the other hand they these segments are responsible for the contraction and relaxation movement of the muscles which ultimately help in the forward movement of the body altogether so these are the different ways with which the earthworm acts as a friend to the farmers as well because it helps in performing the movement of soil from one point to the other point now the next part we will going to take up in the next session where we will be talking about the different set of uh, unique movements that are still left out so for that um, i'll see you in the next session till then take care and keep learning